By now, you're more than likely all too familiar with what it feels like to get shocked by an electric fence. But what is really happening to deliver the shock? In this video, we'll show you the flow of electric current on the fence to see how the process works. Starting at the fence charger, electric current is fed into your system by either an AC power outlet or battery on your DC or solar charger. This current is then built up through a series of transformers inside your fence charger, which takes electricity and converts it into a higher voltage charge. This higher voltage charge is what is released to your fence lines from your charger's fence terminal post and wire connection. Fence chargers are designed with two external terminals to intentionally create electric circuit separation. Electricity enters the fence on the hot fence terminal and completes the circuit when it's received by the ground rods and sent up to the ground terminal from your connecting ground wire. This ground terminal on your charger is just as important in delivering a strong enough shock to your animal as having a high output voltage on your fence charger. A fence's shocking power is only as strong as its grounding system can receive. A smaller grounding setup will receive less electric current and emit less shock on the line. The main objective a charge has coming out of a fence charger on the fence line terminal is to find the shortest connecting path to that ground terminal as possible to complete the circuit. The objective then of the electric fence system is to allow only one successful point of circuit completion for that current, and that successful point of completion happens when an object touches the hot wire and the earth at the same time. This could be your animal, a branch shorting out the wire, or you may have been the lucky one to complete this circuit once or twice. This is also why birds don't get shocked on fence lines. They don't have a contact point with both earth and the wire. To keep this electric current cleanly running, fence systems utilize insulators to attach wires to posts, insulated wire to make underground connections, and weeds and grass kept off the line, all to keep the electric current from running to the ground. So, that instantaneous shock felt by your animal when touching a fence line is the result of the electric current being passed through the body to the earth. And depending on your soil conditions, higher moisture levels being more conductive, the earth can carry this circuit over hundreds of feet to be received by your grounding rods and sent up to your ground terminal. That's it. The basic principle of electric currents is what electric fencing utilizes to provide the psychological barrier for animal containment. The charge has successfully completed its trip out of the fence terminal, down the wire, through the body, down to the earth, received by the grounding rods, and back up into the ground terminal. Electric fencing is one of the safest forms of fencing for both you and your animals. Look for a third-party approved safety label on your AC charger to ensure all safety evaluations have been completed. The shock from an electric fence charger is an immediate, unpleasant psychological deterrent. Once shocked, neither you nor your animals want to touch the fence again. Hopefully this video has cleared up a few questions about electric fence operation. If you have additional questions, give us a call at 855-592-7322.